Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Legacy. So we're picking up right where we left off in episode 3, and there's just drama everywhere, and now we have possible curses um, from our ancestors. Um, so even though we saw in the previous last two episodes that Lilith and Abel were able to make amends and Lilith and Abel had two beautiful children, um, Fel and Larka. Lilith also knew that Abel needed to have children with a sneeze. And I've, I've renamed her and a couple of our other niche lanes, which we'll get to here in a second. Um, but I think that despite Lilith making amends with Abel, she never made amends with a sneeze. Um, and so she not only cursed any of a sneeze's sons that she's come to bear, um, and I've renamed them Kali and Cain upon some of our viewer suggestions, and she sent a leech to little Cain when he was just a day old. And I think that even through the grave, her spirit is lingering and she is kind of whispering as the grass moves along, as the tribe stays by the shore trying to recoup their um, energy. I think that she would whisper to Fel that, um, Maybe a sneeze is to blame for all of this. She had invited a male who was essentially useless, um, Kukirta. I mean, he can collect, but he has terrible genes, to be honest. He has zero vision. Well, he's not blind, but he has derp snout. He's got zero vision. And really, he's only good for swimming in the water and collecting some berries. But he's not able to breed or further the line and a sneeze was the one who invited him in 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 their rush to try to get more males into the tribe and I think that Lilith would see that as Anias being the root of the problem and then subsequently her daughter a sneeze um, Anias if you don't remember was the winged nicheling that we had first invited into the tribe when Adam was still alive and although she was the one who had actually spurred Adam on into kind of remembering that hey we're supposed to be trying to find my home and we can't um, we can't stay on this little paradise forever um, he eventually mated with her after Eve had died and and I think that was just taken as a bad omen all around Whew. That was a lot to um, re-cover, re-go re over. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have poor Cobra, who is just, her life is is just being cut in half. I hate that, and I really want her to have a baby before she passes on, because she has that um, doubled-up home island immunity, but that just means that her child and whoever she is mates with will definitely pass that on and they won't be sick so that is a nice thing about um, the doubled up immunities um, unfortunately <laughs> we can't breed with Kukirda who I think Fel would uh, take offense to because even if his father Abel whose bones lie here in this nest um, had approved of his coming into the tribe I think that in the next turn as Fel's second um move of power as his role of leader, I think he would kick Gukirta out because he's taken up food and I don't know, maybe a, nice, or a sneeze would stop him, but Lilith is definitely telling him he's not going to be of any use to us despite the fact that he can probably collect uh, food for us. So we'll have to see We'll go ahead and end this day, and then we'll move on to the next one. Oh, poor Cobra. All right. 
And so I think Ukirto would just kind of be minding his own business, collecting the area, trying to be of help. I mean, he knows that they've taken him in. But I think that Fel would kind of say, you've had your turn here. You're useless to us. We need you gone. And he would just leave. And I think that Larka would follow his lead and just kind of be a good foot soldier and try to sniff out where he went. Hmm. He's probably in the water somewhere. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right. And now we have... Let's trade places. Do, does anybody here have nimble fingers? Have we adapted that yet? Have we gotten that? <gasps> we do have nimble fingers. We do. Okay. So I think that because Kilala, Kirara has been um, pretty faithful as far as gathering up all these berries, I think that if she were to take on a mate, she would definitely pass on nimble fingers. And her sister, Miana, who is just kind of following in his sister's... Oh, here's Kukirta. And you know what? I think that Fel would not take kindly to that. And it looks like he's actually trying to appeal to a sneeze. You know, you invited me here. What are you doing? What, what happened? I thought that we were all going to be friends. And Fel just... He and Lilith and Larka have other plans, so I think he would actually take a swipe at him. And I feel bad kind of doing that, but I think that that's just in Fel's personality. And so I think a sneeze taken aback would not want to be here anymore. I think she would say to her two sons who are here, her two daughters are are still in the area and they've they don't have any idea what's going on I think they're a little too far away to be able to see and hear what's been happening but I think she would go back this way and try to convince her sons to come with her hmm and I don't know if they would listen because this is the light this is the only life that they've ever known but maybe Kali would kind of try to ask his mom you know hey what's wrong what's going on so let's have her clear this area. And then let's have... Oh, we don't have anything over there. And Kane, let's have him go over here. I think that he might find the shore a little distasteful because he encountered a leech pretty near then. So I think he would try to stay a little bit more landlocked. So let's... Uh, oh, no, no, no! On a Reiko. We're making mistakes left and right, guys. Let's get you away from there, and let's trade you over here. Let's pick this up. I, I don't think that Cobra is going to find any kind of love in the area, unfortunately. And she's so beautiful. I really wish that she would would have been able, that we would have been able to find a, um, a suitable male for her. All right. I think Larka might travel over here through the swamps, and I think Fel would try to send out Larka to the swamp, so that way she could explore this area, try to see if um, Kukirta, is that, his, is that what his name was? If, if he's still in the area. Okay, here we go. Oh, someone's hurt. Is that Kukirta? Is that still who that is? Oh, I think Anareko and Cobra are going to pass away on the same day. <laughs> this is not good. I don't like this, guys. <gasps> oh. Okay. Hang on. <gasps> I really like the purse now. And she's an unrelated female that could be introduced to Kane, who has complementary immunity genes. And he has the person out in his inactive genes. 
So... <laughs> and she has nimble fingers. <gasps> and she could heal! She could heal! Is this it? Is this, what, is this what's happening? Is this... <gasps> could she save Cobra, possibly? And possibly uh, Anareka? Okay, let's go here. And let's have her purr. And purr. And, and... Maybe we can have Cobra for one more day, and maybe we could have Anoreko for one more day. Um, let's bring her over here and maybe clear out a little bit more of a path for these guys, because we definitely need... Um... <sighs> can we have her for one more day and maybe a male could pop up somewhere, please, maybe? <laughs> oh. I don't think that's possible, but I... Okay, I'm glad that we found um, little Seiko here. I think that she is beautiful. She's got this really cute cream-colored coat. Um, and she has nimble fingers. And, ooh, female peacock tail. <sighs> we'll come back to her. All right, so... We have Kilala. Hmm. And she's been gathering up these berries forever. I think she's pretty content. I think that Fel kind of sees Kilala and she's she's been pretty um hmm. They don't have very good immunity genes. They would probably make some pretty sick children. Let's see. G and Star B and Star, that's not good. I think that Fel might go over to his sister, Larka, and try to talk with her about what they need to do with the tribe. Because even though he is officially the leader, I think that he would still take counsel um, with his sister. Because he certainly doesn't know what to do with this trio. He's driven away Kukirta, and he has no idea how to proceed next. He knows that he doesn't want um, he knows that he doesn't want these guys here with them because he thinks that just like Lilith maybe they're polluting the family line. But he also knows that they still need males to be able to continue the tribe. So I think maybe Larka would tell him, you know, hey, we have each other. And even in her last days, Mother always told us that uh, we need to stick together. Family comes first. And if family means that we need to keep these two males here, then that's what we need to do. All right, and Miana, I'm going to have you come over here and pick up these berries. We need just a little bit more food. All right, and let's go ahead and see what these ladies are up to. I think that in their final moments, in their final days, Anoreko, maybe she ate those berries on purpose. Maybe she knew that they would poison her, and maybe she didn't want Cobra to be alone, and maybe she didn't want to be alone herself. The rest of the family has never really paid her any attention, and... I don't know, she was kind of a messenger between Adam and Lilith, but she never felt like she had really done anything in her life other than be a source of comfort for Cobra, who was sick, and she watched out for her, even from a distance. Hmm. And I think that Seiko, seeing their, their bond, how close they became in their travels together under this tree of life, um, would want to live on in Anoreko's memory as a messenger and bring the news of their passing to the rest of the family, even though she doesn't really know the kind of drama that she's getting herself into. All right. I'm pretty sure that this is Cobra's last day and Anoreko's last day. I'm also hoping that Seiko might have saved them for one last chat so they could gather maybe a little bit more food and um, Seiko can purr for them one last time, but whew, here we go. 
Oh. Honoreko is gone. Okay. And this is Cobra's last day. Oh no. And Cobra outlived Anoreko. I mean, that was her aunt, and and definitely, um. Wow, she can just dig up all these places. Oh, when she, you know what? Let's take that as um her burying, um, Anoreko. I think Cobra would urge Seiko to go ahead and try to go back to her family and tell them of the news that um, Anoreko is gone. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. And then let's have Kilala. Let's have her go over here. She has really terrible vision. Wow. Let's actually fix that in her mutation menu because I think she's okay. Let's, um, I'm not really sure if she's going to have children or if we can find a male in time for her. But let's have her grab this and that. All right. Oh my god, my camera angles are terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> you know what? Since we already have this pretty opportune, opportunistic um, positioning, I think the family has officially splintered into the two groups. We have a sneeze and all of her children over here. And then we have Fel and Larka, which are Lilith's line, over here. I think that a little bit of um, Lilith's selfishness would leak into her children. And I think that Fel and Larka would just take off with the blue gems. I think that's what they would do. And of course, foiled again by... Uh, Larka's least favorite things, the rocks. Okay. Let's see here. And then we're left with a sneezes family. I think that it's been a long enough time that a sneeze is kind of realizing, okay, well, Fell is gone now. Maybe we can have a normal family, normal family life. And she would kind of send Kali and Kane to explore the area. Oh, and they found a berry bush. Is someone trying to pick up some fish? Is that what's happening? Who is out there? Okay. Anybody? I'm pretty sure I heard someone in the water. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Alright. So, I think Miana, who's been kind of quiet this whole time, following her sister's example over here with Kilala, um, I think that she would be relieved that uh, Fel is gone and that their family can live a normal life and I'm definitely hearing water <laughs> alright let's see anybody really okay alright so we officially have two splintered groups Anoreko has died um, Fell and Larka in their selfishness and true to Lilith's line um, they have taken the the blue gems and they have gone off into the distance. Um, I mean, Lilith taught them that family is the most important. And who is more closely related than these two? <sighs> okay. So in the next episode, I think that we'll have Fel and Larka go ahead and explore this swamp line over here. And I think that we'll have um, Seiko, who is still a little bit sick, so we might quarantine her a little bit more. Um, but I think Seiko and either Kali or Kane will meet up with her, so that way that we can see if we can introduce some new blood. And I think that Cobra would stay by her friend, Anoreko, her aunt, 
and I think that they would send their blessings with Seiko so that way this family could maybe find some kind of solace in their broken family. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode and um, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Um, bye! <laughs>